So hi there and welcome to this video. In the previous ones we were designing the grid of, of shots for the iShots app and then we were able to display the title of the, the shot. So now let's try and see how we can display the image, right? So if you go back to the shot um, API, we have an image URL coming down from, from, from that, right? So we can already display that on, on the screen. So how do we do that? So let's quickly go to our short screen controller. We have a, in the short cell, we also have an image view. So that's the cover image view, which we want to display stuff on. So we can go to our view controller and actually display that. But we want to do that in an asynchronous manner. So let's add a new method here. All right, so we have a new method here called async load shot image. So now let me run, run you through this and see how we're gonna work with that. So this is gonna load the image asynchronously. Um, it's gonna pass in two variables. So that's the shot itself and the image view which you wanna display that on. So now we're gonna use Grand Central Dispatch. So we're gonna uh, open up a queue, a background queue. So we have a download queue here by calling dispatch queue create. We give it a name and then we start working on that queue in this method down here. So the first thing we do is load the contents of the URL. That's the URL for the shot, right? So we have the shot, the image URL. We convert that into uh, an NS URL and then call the content of URL on the NS data class. And then at the end, hopefully we should have some, uh, some data here of the image. So we're gonna have to cre um, create that image um, and turn that into a UI image. So we, we check if that's not no. If it's not no, then we go in and then we actually add the data to the shot. We save that so we don't have to come back every time and load a new image. And then we do create an, an image from that data and then save that into this image variable. All right, and then before we go out of this, we now go back to the main queue. So we go into the main queue. So back to the UI queue and then we set the image of the image view to what we just um, created or what we just downloaded. All right, so that's what was going to happen. So then we need to make sure that the correct methods are, so the correct variables are passed into here. So if I go in here and I call async load image and I add in the shot and then the cell that image view, sorry, cover image view it's called. So we have these two, we have this method down here now. So it's, it's going to, download the image from that shot and then set it to the cover image view. So now let's run this in the simulator and see what happens. Great, that's looking good. So now we see that we already have some information on our grid and everything is turning out to look really nice. So we're gonna do that in the next video. This is gonna be a short video just to show you how we load images asynchronously. All right, so let's do that in the next video.